The U.S. has suspended a trade pact with Myanmar, a response to the deadliest weekend of violence since February's military coup. More than 100 people, including several children, were killed on Saturday. The Biden administration has condemned an attack by Islamist militants on a town in Mozambique as horrific. The so-called Islamic State group claims to be in control of Palma, but the situation on the ground is unclear. Workers at an Amazon warehouse in Alabama have been deciding whether to unionize. In a closely watched vote that could mark a first in the U.S., 6,000 workers were eligible to cast their ballots by the end of Monday. The retailer strongly opposed the effort. President Biden has asked governors and mayors in the U.S. to continue to require people to wear a face mask in public. He said reckless behavior was causing a rise in the number of coronavirus infections. Talking of that, Latin America's largest country, Brazil, has descended into COVID-induced chaos with more new case numbers and deaths than any other nation on earth. The president, Jair Bolsonaro, has also lost two key cabinet ministers as he comes under increasing pressure over his handling of the pandemic. The Metro reports that the trial into the death of George Floyd heard the policeman accused of his murder knelt on his neck for 9 minutes 29 seconds and didn't get off even when a medic found no pulse. Officer Derek Chauvin denies murder and manslaughter charges.